uh, there is an article here that uh, I would like to read um, that I saw yesterday. And I'm reading this from the New York Times. New allegations of a cover-up by Cuomo over nursing home virus toll. In a leaked conversation, the governor's top aide admitted that data was withheld on nursing homes where more than 10,000 New Yorkers have died during the pandemic. So I haven't read all of this yet. Uh, you know, I'm at this point right now where I just, I kind of like what, like reading articles on stream. Um, you know, I don't know, just, you know, less time. I don't, you know. Uh, Governor Andrew M. Cuomo and his top aides were facing new allegations on Friday that they, that's today actually, uh, that they covered up uh, the scope of the death toll in the state's nursing homes from the corona, you know, beer. Uh, after admissions uh, that they withheld data in an effort to forestall potential investigations into state misconduct. Uh, the latest revelations came in the wake of private remarks by the governor's top aide, Melissa DeRosa, and a cascading series of reports and court orders that have nearly doubled the state's official toll of nursing home deaths in the last two weeks. The disclosures have left Mr. Cuomo, a third-term Democrat, scrambling to contain the political fallout as lawmakers of both parties call for censure, including stripping the governor of his emergency powers during the pandemic, federal and state investigations, and resignations of Ms. DeRosa and other top officials. Uh, now, again, I just want to state, I don't live in New York, obviously, but I know that Andrew Cuomo is garbage. He's, he's trash. But you have to understand, the Republicans are going to try to utilize this to the best of their ability to stick it to him, right? So the best thing that I think that leftists could do in the commentator space is to, again, if these allegations are true, um... If this is factual, right, try to use this in a way that would get rid of Cuomo's powers. However, don't let that void be filled by Republicans. You know, don't let a Republican say, like, and then you have to elect me for, like, you know, as, as long as a Republican does not usurp power, um, I think sticking it to Cuomo is a good idea. Um, so... In a conversation first reported on by the New York Post, Ms. DeRosa told a group of top lawmakers on Wednesday during a call to address the nursing home situation that basically we froze after being asked last summer for information by the Trump administration's Department of Justice. At the time, the governor's office was simultaneously facing requests from the state legislature for similar information. We were in a position where we weren't sure if what we were doing uh, going to give to the Department of Justice or what we give to you guys and what we start saying was going to be used against us and we weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation mr rosa told lawmakers according to a partial transcript obtained by the new york times the news of mr rosa's remarks sparked a flurry of angry denunciations including from mr cuomo's fellow democrats this is a betrayal of public trust state senator andrew uh, Guanardes, a Democrat from Brooklyn, said on Twitter, there needs to be full accountability for what happened. Condemnation was even louder from Republicans. Exactly. You cannot let Republicans take control of this narrative. Um, but again, this is obviously bad. Democrats are bad. But as long as Democrats aren't replaced by Republicans, hit them where it hurts. That's my opinion. Uh, who has seized on Mr. Cuo uh, Cuomo's performance on nursing homes where more than 10,000 New Yorkers died during the pandemic. But the state long stalled on releasing full data as evidence of duplicity or even criminality. Uh, now, again, I want to say, remember when Andrew Cuomo did this book tour on CNN and MSNBC, where he was like, oh, we did it. We solved the pandemic overcoming. Like, remember, like, whatever the fuck his bullshit was. It is time to move past the lies and fully uncover the full truth and finally uncover the full truth, said Representative Tom Reed, a Republican from the state's southern tier, who called for a federal investigation on Thursday night. Early on Friday, Ms. DeRosa, the top non-elected official in the state, sought to clarify the context for her remarks, saying she was trying to explain that we needed to temporarily set aside the legislature's request to deal with the federal request first. We informed the House of this time, of this at the time, she said, referring to the upper and lower chambers of the legislature. 
She added that the administration was comprehensive and transparent in our responses to the DOJ, and then had to immediately focus our resources on the second wave and vaccine rollout. As I said on the call with legislators, we could not fulfill the request as quickly as anyone would have liked. This is damage control. I don't buy it personally. The revelation of Ms. Uh, DeRosa's remarks comes two weeks after a damning report from Letitia James, the state's attorney general, who accused the Cuomo administration of undercounting uh, deaths related to the pandemic uh, in connection to nursing homes by thousands. The report forced the state's health department to make public more than 3,800 previously unreported deaths of residents who died outside a facility like in a hospital and had not been included in the state's official nursing home tally. Since then, the number of deaths connected to New York nursing homes and long-term care facility facilities has only ballooned to about 15,000 confirmed and presumed deaths from 12,743 in late January as of this week. The administration released the latest figures as a result of a court order following a six-month battle between the Cuomo administration and the Empire Center, a conservative leading think tank, again, just want to reiterate, we cannot let conservatives uh, dominate this news. Um, a conservative-leaning think tank which requested a full accounting of nursing home deaths under the state's Freedom of Information Law. The virtual meeting this week between Ms. DeRosa and other senior administration officials, including Mr. Cuomo's health commissioner and budget director and top Democratic state lawmakers, was intended to bridge a growing rift between the governor's office and the legislature. The legislature held hearings in early August on the administration's handling of certain uh, pandemic-related incidents in nursing homes, which legislators, uh, legislators rather, repeatedly questioned the state's health commissioner, Dr. Howard Zucker, on the full extent of deaths linked to nursing homes. Lawmakers, however, were unsatisfied with Mr. Zucker's failure to disclose the number of residents, uh, resident deaths outside nursing homes and long-term care facilities. A few weeks later, the state Senate and Assembly formally wrote the health department requesting those figures, as well as additional information. Correction, February 12th, an earlier version of this article misstated uh, when total uh, deaths in New York nursing homes reached 12,743. It was in late January, not February. Okay. Um, so yeah, we all know that the Cuomo administration has been covering up a lot of stuff. And uh, I just want to, again, in the words of our president. They had a very bad... Former president original concept it was carried out poorly and the cover-up was one of the worst in the history of cover-ups so again um the idea that andrew cuomo would do that bizarre press conference with the pile of garbage like oh the hill right and then he wrote this book let me just get let, what, let me just get a fucking let me get this book open like you got to see this book cover. If you haven't seen the book cover, dude. Um, like, I just, like, Jesus Christ. Like, fucking Christ Almighty. <laughs> like, I really just, it's, oh, ma, 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 ma. So this is what Andrew Cuomo released. American Crisis. Leadership Lessons from the Pandemic. Andrew Cuomo looking like, oh, yes, I'm such a serious person. Look at me looking into the distance like again this guy's totally full of full of himself he's got main character syndrome uh this guy is willing to kill people for his uh retaining of power this guy is willing to not even let the families of these people know why uh their loved ones are dead just to retain power and i think that that is disgusting but of course i want to reiterate that republicans are going to weaponize the shit out of this and uh we cannot you know i don't live in new york obviously uh, but there cannot be an allowance of um you know right wingers to dominate uh this story which is why i wanted to cover it because um andrew cuomo is a centrist democrat he's closer to republicans than he is to i guess the center line of the democratic party at this point this guy is just not good uh he is entrenched in his power and uh this is one of the problems when you've got authoritarians in government Democrat, Republican, whatever. Authoritarians are bad news, folks. And uh, we got to call that out uh, at all costs, in my estimation. 